Well, welcome back to Factorio C Block and TSM episode number 48. Uh, okay, so last time we were having trouble with our um, power. We have fixed that now. Um, I reorganized all of this. I basically moved one of these up. Um, bit of map mode. I've added a little bit on, so this is a bit longer than it used to be. There's all of these are Mark IIs, all of these are the Mark II uh, machines as well. Uh, the algae machines, the um, assembly machines. We have now twice as many of the uh, assemblers turning the wood pellets or whatever the little ones are called now into the blocks. And we have twice as many of these as well. Um, and we seem to have stabilized sufficiently so that loading up the train is um, okay. I guess the train is now full again and we are storing charcoal for the next time we need to load the train. Well, it's full as in I halved the capacity of the train um, for now anyway. Uh, I think this one just a moment ago was burning the uh, carbon rather than the fuel blocks but it looks like it's now taken all the carbon out of here so there'd be no carbon going up here right now it would only be uh, carbon coming down this way um, and as you can see these guys have completely stopped as a consequence power um, well under control it's just over 50% now which is good uh, so that means we can get back to our intention, which was to sure that we could build out our um, copper um, station, which is going to be very equivalent to this one, actually. So what I might do is need that. Probably don't need that one. Let's just use that and make a copy of that. Uh, we want the tiles. Don't want station names. I don't need the explosives. So create a blueprint and we are going to want So, um, actually, how much landfill do I have? I've got time. I'll help the bots out a bit here. Able to finish this. Oh, we don't really need that, but yeah. I've just wiped it. I've just wiped it. It's daft. Never mind. Let's do it again. Uh, that files. We don't want those. We actually don't. Blueprint. Do that. And connect up the rail here. Uh, we will need... Probably okay for now. Uh, 
Um, okay, so we need also a that stone, brick, and iron required. Not really sure if these bots are helping me very much, but um, okay. Stone, brick, and iron. Where did I start making more stone brick? It's just down here. Here to be any more. Um, brick, iron. Make a warehouse. Come on, bots. Have a sip of my coffee while I wait for them. Oh, <laughs> we don't need this collection. Really good. Need it over here either. sure what they actually think they're doing with landfill right now. Uh, do I have a request to station? It doesn't look like it. Make one quickly. That is that. Iron ore main in this one. You can be uh, item no caps equals copper, copper ore. In. That's what we're going to be ordering here. Press the lamp. Well, slider combinator. Change that from iron ore to copper ore. Build the stuff we need, guys, not stuff you assume we need. And let's all. Bring some power over here. or less than 8k we're ordering more down to 1k over there. I just saw that one deliver I don't think we're anywhere close no so this certainly is not producing enough iron ore for our basic needs yet but uh, we'll deal with that soon um, I think I think what we need now is actually um, is actually this part down here I think is ready for off up 
evil. those bits apparently those bits we're not gonna need that um, I'm pretty sure this oxygen is not required get rid of it because it led to nowhere Ludge coming over here. Let's carry on. This slot. This one is molten steel. Right. It's, uh, relevant. Okay. Um, for the copper, I think um, what I want to see is probably this kind of setup now. Uh, which means the steel may have to move slightly out of the way. Uh, let's just do that. Uh, one is possibly enough. What are these? They're the Mark 1 machines. We may need to make the Mark 2 machines. But... Um, Certainly want some ore processing machines. That's these things. We already have three. There and there look like likely candidates. You'll make process copper. Will I regret this later? Possibly. Kind of in the way. Oh, just a medium. We need, um, we need some more poles. Get the good poles. I probably should start setting up a logistics network around all of this stuff so it's supplied by the bots automatically. We do have the tech to do it. Holes. in there that aren't really rubbish but um, drawing the box another box of 
I call Grabbish. So, um, this sort of situation works okay, I guess, so, same thing with these guys, uh, although maybe I could have Belt come here and, uh, like so. Um, yeah, you just face it. I don't know if we actually need more copper processing than this. I think this will be a huge boost to our existing amount of copper processing, so... I... See that one was a yellow belt, but um, we don't really need a yellow belt. So that is it. That set up the copper. We need a copper train now. Um, I also actually have noted that this guy here um, is filling up, and we have plenty of mineral sludge left. And he's even waiting, which um, means that we can afford more processing over here, which we're going to need. But uh, let's get our copper train first, because it doesn't exist already, or does it? Uh, it does exist, actually. Um, and you have all of your orders, so that's awesome. So, in that case, uh, we just need our copper set up in here. Um, and I think I need to do this kind of setup rather than this one. Um, so I need to make... Oh, I need to redo this, in fact. Which I will do, um, because that will help me with my orders. Uh, where did I get the copy? Oh, uh, in which case this one here we can just delete. There we go. So this is the priority that I need here, and I needed the copper first so that I could use it as a filter along here. Um, except how are we going to ensure that this thing um, doesn't lag train might actually need to uh I might just run to my train I might need to actually set some filters on the trains and also change the stack amounts possibly a bit annoying though really want to do that or well, what the stack filter size is right now um, you if we change you first of all so all of these are set to stack only There is no intention of using this train to pick up anything else, so this is just a safety margin. Uh, you only need to do one carriage, and uh, uh, this is copper ore train. So if we were to set this, whoops, this one here to copper ore.
click on every single box, it's kind of annoying. Alright, that's good. Um, so that should mean that we don't get contamination. I'm a little bit concerned. That's the one issue you have when you have these multiple, or can have. See, these guys are holding uh, lag. Uh, what is what is the stack inserter uh, bonuses? Inserter capacity 2. Stack inserter capacity four. Yeah, it's a it's a strange number. So unless it's a multiple of well, four fits into two hundred, but because we've got six of them, I guess there can be a problem. Um, it won't be that big of an issue uh, as long as this one. Okay, so Q, you already have the slag. You need. Trains on the way, less than Q, because you want to order the iron, uh, sorry, the copper, and we want the copper or as the TS copper ore train, uh, it's been ordered, uh, the filter has been set correctly, but yeah, notice these guys, so they won't be able to fill up. Train will be trying to get here. This will be it. Yeah. Um, I actually, because I killed this guy, I can probably complete this and set it up the way I want it to be set up. Now, uh, just have a couple that are not active as a consequence of holding slag. This guy's not actually doing any work, but that's okay. This guy's not doing any work. At least it's not putting slag in here. How fast are we filling up? Not that fast yet. Um, we'll use faster and faster inserters over time. Let's go back and set up the next part of the delivery. Which is down here. This one is just a simple trains on the way less than P, then we want copper ore. Copper ore priority, so it will be calling that train. Yep. Um, on this one. Is that calling? It's calling a train, okay. Uh, what? Oh, okay. We actually have a train on the way but I haven't signaled this properly so we really should probably be building uh, train signals somewhere I need lots of them clearly um, off the train tracks right so let's start at this end then i guess um we are coming in here so there uh so you need a chain as well uh that will be fine i don't need another signal up there we probably want something here then at the other end, all of these independent paths want a rail signal. And should probably, for completeness, have a train just there. Oh, so we're now getting trains through. How are you going? 14k. 
It's not too bad. I'm going to extend this all the way down here. I should probably move. Let's go for the ride. Okay, so it's going up here and it'll be called away immediately because we have a need for it. Into the copper. Get out here. Copper ore. Um, which will fill. Right, we haven't sorted out this area, have we? Do. Very slow belts. Might turn up the sound slightly. I think I may have turned them down slightly too much. Share it again. Um, come on, copper. So it's kind of my assumption that this is not enough copper. We seem to be using far more iron than the copper. Oh, uh, we need to Oh, and you're gonna need um you're gonna need charcoal now. Yes, I had forgotten that. Changing over to this Right. Okay. Um, have made it quite hard to get the charcoal down, maybe, or maybe we can make it come down from this, which is doing unnecessary, unnecessary wiggles. will be so I'll put a fast inserter there oh and your recipe needs to change so that oh you need oxygen gas as well not wait a second 
We don't need this at all, we just need oxygen gas. Angels mods. Um, what did we do with our oxygen? We sent it away, pretty much. I think I'll just go down to our collection over here and get some more stone pipes. Uh, let's just around. But yes, we've got tons of oxygen here, so extra consumption is really likely to be much of an issue. Go. Yep, that seems to be fine. These two should be oversupplied for what they can deal with. Fine for now, it's because we're splitting off some of the um, supply over here to make the brass or the bronze, whichever one this is. Uh, brass, to make the brass. So that's fine for now. Uh, all good. Okay. So next, next on the hit list is we need to bring this city block in line. This city block is going to make this formula, basically, which is a slight change from um, what we are using because we are going to actually need to make the chunks. Um, which means, of course, we need this extra step of the flotation cell like we do in here. Um, I'm not 100% sure how many flotation cells we will need. We can potentially make a Mark III flotation cell. Um, we probably only need a handful to start off with. Uh, so... Uh, what are these blueprints we have? That's all enough. Um, I think I kind of want to. Well, this output I am fairly happy with. General idea of it. So, I, I basically want this sort of in and this sort of out set up. So I guess I could copy all of that and then I'm going to want to change the internals a little bit. But this sort of gives me a basic outline that I want. So it's not such a bad idea to copy all of that. Uh... Yeah, let's do that. 
that would mean I would like to copy from there to about there. Basically that. Uh, I don't want to copy the train's fuel. I do want tiles. Trains. Don't that. Yeah, let's copy that. Um... good why don't I just give it sort of a actually the best thing for this would be the chunks there are type chunks copper maybe okay. I think that's basically where I want that. So that's the landfill that I need. Um, now, <laughs> some friends in the middle here to deal with, but they'll be easy to deal with. So we need lots of landfill. Uh, okay. Let's get on with this something I've wanted to do for a while. I know we're just about uh, through an episode, but um, yeah, we'll see how we go. Um, where is this guy? I've actually slowed down this production, which is not good. We're down to 8.7. So we've removed um, all of the stone chunks from copper and iron from here. actually see this is backed up now. These machines need to be made into the Mark II's looks of things. Is our copper supply banking up or is it just We haven't had any for so long that there's so many lines that are just bleeding from copper. Lack of copper. Might even need two lots of copper machines. Uh, Alright, tell you what, before I start doing that, as you know what I'm intending to do, let's turn these machines into the casting machine mark. I made these into there is a Mark II somewhere around here. Those ones I made into Mark IIs, okay. So the Invar can run constantly. But we certainly need it in copper if we need it in Invar. Casting Machine Mark II. This gives us a, about a 50% speed boost, which is what we need to cope with the total output of one of the. Oh. Fine, let's get rid of charcoal somewhere. Carrying that stuff now, can I find where this casting machine ended up? I don't have it on me, do I? Maybe I do. See, this one's going slightly faster than this one now. But not for long. That should be able to keep up with the production of this now. 
about a 50% improvement on iron and copper. Copper output. Okay, so. Uh, well, got the outline here. Uh, maybe. Um, I might do a bit of this offline because it's probably a little bit tedious, but uh, let's put things. How much room does all that take? One that we want. Okay. Where's my train? Might be... Uh, I'll run down to the bottom, jump on my train. Not. Do I have my plasma turret? Plasma turret, yes I do. I might use that rather than using ammo. Where are those biters? They're truly amazing things. Plasma turrets. Uh, let's go to about here. Which will unfortunately block a few people, but um, never mind. Plasma turret, do you reach? I think you do, so we just need to have a little bit more room for you. Where'd you end up, plasma turret? Power. Too far away. Rather too close, sort of thought for the big view. Looks actually, it looks like we are too far away. Okay. Okay, let's uh, build a little bit closer then. As my turret. Like it's the perfect range about there. Oh, well, that takes out the tree as well. That might not have been my cleverest move then. I'll have to remember that for future endeavors. Uh, in the meantime, We need to make sure we can build the train part. Probably the most important, isn't it? Putting down copious amounts of landfill is actually kind of tedious. Oh, and we're running out. But...
okay. And I've still got quite a bit. Uh, let's see how much of this we can now fit here. We're going to have to change this part of Central Park quite a bit. Uh, I'm thinking maybe I'll cut off two of these, but we all, I'll have to do some calculations on that. Probably grab that blueprint again. Get something like that. Uh, so these chunks processes, they go. They go through these machines first as per normal, then they go through the four crushes, then they go into the... Which I probably boosted it at some point to a Mark II. Uh, I think we need like twice as many. What have I actually got built over here? Single line, I see, I've got a single This guy very occasionally gets used. Crushed Sapphirite. Sephirite ore. Taken 540 Sephirite ore. So yeah, in theory, this guy shouldn't run ever. That's not quite how it works. We certainly won't need them if we lose a couple of machines. But um, what I really want to know is how much do these process? Probably should just. Are we actually blocking any trains?
one second craft time makes two crushed sephirite. The same number of crushed sephirite is the amount of ore that comes in, right? These guys are making one ore every four seconds. Except that they have a speed on them of 1.5. So, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4. So, 4 seconds is 15 per minute. Um, and you've got this number. Um, 22.5 per machine. 360 per minute. Oh, there's eight machines. That makes sense. 22.5 by 8. One, the, this doesn't make sense. Twenty two point five times 8. 80. My maths is not working there, it does. Uh, so, yeah, you get 360. These things turn that into 360 crushed ore. The liquefying machines, uh, which are here. Is liquefied. They're here, liquefied flotation cell, or crusher, or sorter. Um, flotation cell. That is what we need, isn't it? Flotation cell mark two is a crafting speed of one. So, speed one takes two seconds to create these chunks. Oh yes, we're also going to get yellow geodes and uh, sulfuric waste water. Complicates things because... And I can add geodes removal to here, but the sulfuric wastewater. We use the sulfuric wastewater here. Could have another train stop that drops off sulfuric wastewater. some unpowered entities or something else. These gaps are pretending that they need really. Mineral sludge taking off. Um Yeah, the chunks, they're going to need a little bit more organisation. So I guess what I'll do is I will build up probably to about here, push the stuff up, which we can do by map view, I guess. I simply... That... We're only going up 
to might mean we can get rid of one of these as well i'll see how much room i need for the flotation cells um we need to build a few of them maybe what the best thing to do right now would be to actually add do we have flotation cells we've got those guys maybe we do what's down here uh, yeah looks a little bit like we do was to come back down here, partly to get out of the way. If, if we've got two or sorting machines, I think we need four flotation cells. units liquefier I don't think we've built the flotation um, cells yet flotation cell it does look like it's very similar to stuff again If we were to be serious about it, we'd probably have to build it down here. Redo some of this, especially for them, which um, I guess we do. Might be annoying. When do we actually get logistics in this thing? Like logistic boxes, proper logistic boxes. Right towards the end of science. It was a very silly move. Devs to so so difficult to get bots. Thing here we go. Oh no, that's the version two. Version two. Just need logistics. Go back to that. Uh, wait a minute. That's the one that I want. Needs purple and science or gems really in processing for this thing bolt smelting titanium Ramax. I think the gem processing is going to be the most awkward part. Maybe not. I think getting the gems is actually what the problem is going to be. <laughs> I have my suspicions, Bobs, or angels actually. 
Angels, I have my suspicions about these gems. Um, I don't think there's going to be anything terribly bad about that. We need tank, so we need basically all the metals. That's so a long way away. That's possibly slightly frustrating. Uh, all right. Have some new trees. Okay. That wooden swamp tree, swamp garden, desert tree. Guess we can build a whole lot of those things. I'm going to need some explosives to clear this nonsense out. A little bit more stuff here. Guys, I think um, I think it's definitely time to call it quits. We've done enough. Um, I will see about uh, how we need to adjust, well, this design a bit more. Uh, see if, how we can fit our guys in and we're going to need another train station obviously to clear the the geodes can be down here but the liquids need to be cleared somewhere else so probably here uh and we we'll probably need to build uh well we need geodes plus liquid handling coming in here probably i'm really counting on that uh, plus, I might just build another uh, mineral sludge train because obviously this is building up. Mineral sludge is not currently being called hard enough. Uh, I might even lay down another one of these so that this is... I think we can only fit one more. That will kind of fill it up. There's a couple of things that I need to do between times. Um, I Actually, I might leave the design of this to the next episode, but just fill out the train stops and get the basic part up and running so we're ready we can see what we need to do uh see if i need three or four of these i know i made four because that was but we're basically reducing down to columns of four we're, we're going if we decided we needed whatever number this was 12 or something uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight becomes four of these if we make them four or something. I think that was kind of the thinking. So we'll do something like that. Anyway, we'll have to wait until next time. Thanks very much for joining me. See you then, guys. Bye-bye for now.